Okay, now over to Mark in the Mastercraft kitchen. What's on the menu today, Mark? What have you got? Right, today we've got roasted pork chops with miso eggplant. Look at these fantastic eggplants here. These are great, and I'm going to show you how to get so much flavour into this. Um, we've got miso in there, we've got soy in there, sesame, coriander, some onion, some chilli. So simple, but so much flavour. So first job, you need to get a lot of colour on eggplants. I think a lot of people sort of steer away from eggplants because they don't really know sort of, you know, what to do or they just fry it off quickly and you don't really get that sort of flavour in there. So this recipe, I'm going to walk you through it to get that flavour in there. So I'm just going to dice it up first though, just taking the top off and then just do some nice slices, leave the skin on and then just go across into a nice dice and I'm just warming a pan up on the stove so I want to get it nice and hot because if you look at the flesh of the eggplant it's quite um, spongy, okay, so if you don't fry the eggplant in a really hot pan, it's just going to soak up all that oil and go really soggy. Okay, so you need a really hot pan and you want to get some nice colour on that and colour equals flavour. So that's the first process, so that's what I'm going to get onto now. So I get it nice and hot. So you can see that, you can hear that frying now. And you don't want to overcrowd your pan either. Okay, so that's enough, so I'm going to do this in two batches. So I'm just going to cook it till we get a really nice colour. I'm going to drain it off on just some absorbent paper and then let it cool down and then we'll get the rest of the base in there and then finish off cooking the eggplant a little bit later. So just lightly season it as we go because we're going to add soy later so we don't want to put too much salt in now. So check back a little bit later, we'll finish the eggplant and then we're going to roast those pork chops in the pan to perfection. We're all here in the Mastercraft kitchen and I'm joined by the stars of Davidals who have their big gala performance this Friday night. We'll talk to them very soon a bit more, but I thought we'd get them in the kitchen. Colleen and Todd, great to have you on the cafe. Thanks yeah. for joining us. Thank you. And welcome to our Mastercraft kitchen where I always yeah. make mistakes. And you um, did Hudson and Hall's Live, Tom, which was a yeah. huge success, by the way. Um, so you'll be quite familiar with cooking. Yeah, although I'm bound to, you know, burn something being <laughs> Hudson and Hall's. Yeah, true, Blow true. something up, burn a turkey. And if it was <laughs> truly Hudson and Hall's, we'd probably have some wine hiding under the table. Yeah. Uh, and Colleen, what do you like in the kitchen? Oh, you know, mm, yeah, mm, I, leave, I leave it to the mister. <laughs> right. Can you julienne some ginger? No, 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 no. No? Okay. No, I need what? my fingertips. Okay, sweet. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, what are we cooking and what can we help with? Right, so we got the miso eggplant on first. So we've got the yeah, eggplants here, so you can see that beautiful oh, yeah, colour on that. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Mm. So yep. just take a while and you need some good heat and keep doing that. You don't want to add too much oil, but it will suck the oil up, so keep adding little bits at a time. <laughs> It could be quite boring eggplants. What else? <laughs> you eat eggplant? Yep, yep. Love what do you do with it? Um, it? Put miso on it, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. delicious. What about you, Colleen? You're an eggplant fan? I really love moussaka, which is like a, oh, a that's Greek, good. Greek dish. Okay. So it's something you can do with... Yeah, no, that's yeah. great. It works, works great with uh, Masaka. Sort of layers of eggplant and then mince and some yeah. spices oh, in yeah. there. It's really, yeah. really like nice. Eggplant lasagna. Mm. Yeah. Well, it is, yeah. Or okay. even fry it and then just deglaze it with some balsamic vinegar. Nice Brilliant. work. And you get those sort of different textures and, and flavours in there. It's great. Right, so we've got the garlic in there. Yep. We're just uh, julienne and the ginger, so we're yep. just putting that in there. We're just sort of softening that up. Mm -hmm. Get the flavours out and then we'll make a sauce and we'll put the eggplant in there. Right. So now I'm going to show you how to cook the pork chop. Okay, so I've got a nice, nice pan <laughs> on there. In there. You go, oh, you go, no. you, you start cooking. <laughs> so a little bit of, little bit of oil, nice hot pan, and I've just taken the skin or the right, the, yeah, the, the skin, just off the edge of the eggplant. I mean, you can leave it on if you want. You can put a little bit of oil on there, some salt, and you can cook it like this and get a really good crackle. So hang on, how the skin off the what? The eggplant or the, or the pork? No, the pork. Oh, the pork. Okay, cool. See, that's why I'm here. That's pork. That's yeah. Good, I'm pleased yeah. to hear yeah. Colleen. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Do you want Mike's job? <laughs> yeah. Right, so, um. so we're just going to cook it on that fat side. So we're taking the skin off, so yep. we'll get it nice and crispy and we'll get a really fine sort of crackle on there. Mm, yeah. Mm. So we're going to get the colour on there first and then we're going to seal it. So a nice hot pan. Right, onions are sweated down. I'm going to put the soy sauce in there. I'm going to put a little bit of the miso in there and a little bit of water as well. And that's just going to make a little sauce. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we, Todd and Colleen, mm. while, while we're waiting for that sauce to brew up there, um, obviously on the road a lot, how do you stay nice and healthy? You know, like, what are you eating in between? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty badly on the road. Yeah. 
uh, per diems and you know you just end up eating out for every meal. It's right. really hard to cook in hotel rooms. <laughs> yeah, true, but so. that's why. Or you is take, it? Yeah, well, that's why uh, we have. Try. We yeah. do try. Like we've been touring for, or well, we've been doing this show for three years. Right. Um, and as we've gone on, we've sort of learnt how to do it a bit better. So these days we go to the supermarket, don't we? Yeah, good. yeah. yeah. We're at least up. having breakfast in the hotel room. Yeah. Well, tell me, you're <laughs> at the right place because you're going to get fed here today. Oh, so. Right. Okay, so Mark, you put the eggplant yep. in. So we've got the eggplant in there. You're just going to turn the heat down and we're just going to slowly cook that. And then all that liquid is just going to slowly soak up into the eggplant mm. and give us lots of flavour. All right, we'll have a look at the pork. So you can see now, getting a nice sort of golden crispy skin. Nice. And then just pop it on the side. So we've still got that really good heat in the pan. Keep the high heat, get a nice colour on both sides. And we're just going to keep flipping it every sort of minute or two until it's cooked. And this has been out for about 10, 15 minutes, so this is at room temperature than meat, so it's going to cook faster and more even. OK, nice tip. And, um, Todd, you, yeah. Hudson and Halls. I don't know, Mark, are you familiar with Hudson and Halls? Uh, no. Too Hudson famous and chef. Halls, the Bruce Willis film. Uh, no, you're not going to No, not that one. <laughs> they were two famous chefs in New Zealand um, that did a cooking show, much like yourself. Um, do you want to tell um, Mark, Todd, what would be happening about now if it was Hudson uh, and Halls? There'd be... Everything would be on the floor. There'd be pissed. <laughs> there'd be a bottle of something down here. There'd be drinking, things be going up in flames behind you. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. So it's come a long way. Actually, he probably is a bit like Hudson and Hall. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. on the table. Off camera. <laughs> so, so you get a nice colour now. So we're just going to keep turning it, build up that colour and cook the pork. Right. <laughs> Eggplant is on the plate. We've finished that with some coriander, some um, sesame oil. Uh, and then we've got these beautiful pork chops, which have just basted in a little bit of butter and some thyme just to finish them off. I mean, look at that. It looks absolutely fantastic. Right, you can come and try this now, guys. Nice work. Well, so, bring it over. a quick piece of advice. I always overcook my pork. What's your secret Ooh. to getting it right? Don't cook it for too long. OK. <laughs> and rest it. Rest it. That's it. You've got to rest it. So you want to prod it. It wants to have a nice little spring to it. And you've got to rest it for two, three minutes. Okay, from the and then you can finish it off in the butter just to warm it back up. And you'll have a nice, moist, juicy chop. Yeah. Okay. OK. I can't wait to taste it. What are you doing tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to do venison meatloaf. Okay.